up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Goddess Cafe Terrace chapters 141 through 151. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, um, well, last time I covered Goddess Cafe Terrace, um... We saw Olivia uh, adjust to um, uh, to living uh, with the fam, and boy, did it get very interesting. And also, Ami just made everything even better, let's be real. Anyways, let's get to chapter 141 first, see what's in store for us today. And of course, we got, got Uka here on the cover. She looks gorgeous, per usual. But let's be real, best girl is still Akane. Nothing is taken away Akane from being best waifu. All right, and this chapter is titled uh, Grandma's Flavors. And here we go. I'm so happy to be able to go somewhere with you this early um, on in the day, Hayato-kun. This isn't for fun, though. Once we've done everything we need to do, we're going straight home. What? We've come all this way. Let's go on a date. I hate that outfit, Shirogiku. I hate it. Hate it! The top is hideous. The skirt's okay. The top is hideous. Burn it! Don't talk nonsense. We have a cafe to think about, too. Besides, is it true what you told me? Yes, my grandmother said that when um, she worked at the cafe, she and your grandmother often cooked together. Is that so? If my intuition is correct, then it's likely. Um, oh my, how young I was. Now that I'm an old grandma, I don't even uh, look like that young girl anymore. Oh, there she is. Um... Uh, oh, and here's a photo of us all when we went to a restaurant in Ginza. Uh, Mashiro-san just kept saying, I don't know about any of this stuff. Hey, mother. Um, Hayato-kun came here to ask you about something. Let's hear him out first, shall we? Oh, dear. I'm sorry, silly me. I got all carried away. So, what was it um, that you wanted to ask me about? Right, yes, well, I'd like to ask you about my grandmother. Um, back when she worked at the old Familia and then in Spain. Oh, um, what... What? Why do you sh um, shout out just now? I think I figured it out. I think I got it. Got what? I've riddled the solution! What's wrong with you? My, so you're making dinner tonight, Hookasan? Mm, yes, I've just finished, in fact. This is the dish that Grandma served Your Majesty. This is it, isn't it? Uh, this is the dish that Grandma entrusted to me and me alone to make for Hayato-kun. Grandma's one and only peel-off. This dish must have held special significance for Grandma, don't you think? This peel-off? Yes, this peel-off! I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but the dish I saw looked like um, a risotto. If it was a peel-off, I would have recognized it as such. I see. Please keep this between us. What do you mean, I see, detective? <laughs> Stop eavesdropping! Come and sit with the others. I have something to tell you all. You discovered what Grandma's mystery dish was? Um, I'm not sure yet, so I wanted, uh, Sarasan to try it first. Understood. Uh, um, is it ready, Shirogiku? Yes, um, well, I made it the way you suggested. Oh, this is it. Wait, this is it? It looks something like this. Huh? But the smell. Yeah, this is, it's miso. Yeah, this is, uh, Gia, so basically a rice gruel or savory porridge, um, usually seasoned with miso or soy sauce. Huh? Why? Um, I had a thought yesterday evening when I had Shirogiku make me, um, a jizuke. What if Her Majesty was like me, and after four days of eating fancy restaurant-style food, her stomach couldn't take anymore? And so on the last day, Grandma made something that would be easier on her stomach. But, but even if that's true, why would she make a jia? If she wanted something easy on her stomach, other countries have dishes like that too, right? Of course there are things like risotto and aras, uh, kodoso, was it? Um... But what Her Majesty asked for was the best uh, dish I'll uh, um, ever have tasted. So, of course, something like that wouldn't have been enough to satisfy her. So I, thought that, um, that in, so, I thought that in that case, perhaps Grandma used Japanese uh, seasonings that weren't that well known elsewhere at the time. 
Things like miso or soy sauce, or maybe she made something like a chia uh, using dashi. From what you told us, Sarasan, um, Her Majesty had never eaten Japanese food before. So may I ask why you selected these seasonings? Um, I remembered something that Grandma used to say to me a lot. I told you that I can't. Um, I can make you anything you want. Um, you really are just like, you really are just like your dead grandfather. Shut up! I like your usual pilaf. So if I had a usual order in my case, the pilaf, I figured that my grandfather must have had a usual order too. And if that was true, then it must have been something uh, from back in the old familia days. That's it, so that's why you wanted to go and ask my grandmother. You thought that um, must have been what uh, they served her majesty. Yeah, it turned out to be um, a more slapdash meal than I expected, though. We all went to a restaurant in Ginza, and Mashiro-san just uh, kept saying, I don't know about any of this stuff. When he finally got back home, he told Sachiko, Get me um, uh, my usual leftover miso soup over rice. Oh, wait, that's, it's something, it's like something a cat would eat, meow. <laughs> what, you mean Grandma served Her Majesty leftovers? Well, since it's cooked together, um, it's, uh, Ogia. Then I wanted to know if she had access to miso when she was a chef in Spain. Yes, we did. There was a number of Japanese staff members there, after all. Because Akabe-san would all, uh, often make us miso soup using her own homemade, uh, miso paste, um, uh, miso paste. It was truly delicious. I see, so that's how you came up with this dish. Well, above all, that old woman had a warped personality. <laughs> it's mean. So I figured she'd do something like that. But wait, the miso we use here nowadays is from the supermarket. Wouldn't it taste different? Come to think of it, the miso soup does taste different now to um, how it did when Grandma was alive. I'm sorry, what with college and everything, I'm too busy to make homemade miso. But we still had some of the miso Grandma made in the freezer, so I did use a little of it to make this dish. Thank you for using such a precious thing to help us. Dude, it's in the freezer? Oh my god. Dude, how long does that miso keep, man? If you want to thank her, please do so Um, once you've tried it. We don't know whether it's right or, uh, right or not yet. That's true. Well then. Uh, it's not complete yet. I haven't even given it a name. This isn't it. Um, Hi, she. You're kidding, right? You're creeping me out. How lame. What? The end? What? Okay, now we're at 142. And also, Kadasha, I hate that you do not include the opening and closing text. You are killing me, Smalls. And also, I still hate this fucking localization name. It, you will never have me call it that. No, it, it, even Reddit, even Reddit says the same thing. It's still God's Cafe Terrace. It will forever be God's Cafe Terrace. Hayato, Hayato-kun, um, it seems like it's going to rain until the, uh, the afternoon today. Um, what should we do about the beach hut? Oh, good timing, Shirogiku. Starting today, I'm going to close the cafe and the beach hut for a little while as an early Oban holiday. So basically, that's a Japanese holiday and festival for honoring the dead, such as ancestors and family members. Huh? What made you decide that all of a sudden? Besides, it's supposed to be sunny this afternoon, right? So you can go ha um, have fun with the others. Have fun doing what? We could go to the beach this year, too! Yay! And this chapter is titled Catch of the Day. I love Akane's bathing suit. That bathing suit is hot! Yes! I would totally wear it, too. Uh, yes! Avi's surfing on dolphins! I love Avi so much. She is second best girl for a reason. No, she is best girl. Akane is best waifu. There we go. Woo! Hello! Ami san um, enjoys rather risky activities, doesn't she? Huh? Well, that's just how she always is. However, you look at um, however you look at it, that's far more risky. Dude, that bathing suit, man! Woo! What's up, Buka? I have a feeling that Ami chan's going to try and cause uh, trouble again. Listen to me, Olivia chan. If from now on something happens um, that makes it look um, like I farted in the sea and went flying through the air, just know that I didn't actually fart, okay? What are you going on about? Luca, you mean you can fly through the air by farting? <laughs> no, I can't get fly through the air by farting. I mean that if by some chance that does end up happening, it's actually Ami just Ami Chan messing around, so don't fall for it, okay? Keep it steady. Ah! Want to go? Damn it, Dolphins! Poor Uka. Want to go for a ride, Princess? Can I really? Olivia son, that looks rather. I want to ride the dolphin. Um, I'll be right uh, here with her. Uh, she'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Hold on tight. Dude, I want to ride the dolphin! Wow. 
So it was nothing to do with farts in the end, huh? It, it might. Still might. Kingdom of Se uh, Semelheim's uh, Princess Olivia, huh? Um. What? You left Olivia Chan behind? Uh, yeah, she said she wanted to watch Haichi fish, so I left her off, um, I let her off by the bank. Dude, Ami, like, you are so amazing. Right. Hmm. What do you think? Those two seem to be getting along rather well. Um, maybe the whole thing about them being betrothed, uh, betrothed isn't so meaningless after all. Akani's like, no. That is my man. Get the fuck away, bitch. Kikachan, have you heard anything? Did she mention anything when you were making dinner together? Huh? She didn't really say anything in particular. Maybe she really does just want to watch him fish. I doubt it. She probably just wants to get him uh, to marry her for real, don't you think? It's possible. She's of noble birth, after all. I really don't think she's plotting anything, you know. Besides, this is our well-earned holiday. Let's uh, go and enjoy ourselves. We haven't caught a thing. Um, that's just how fishing is. Are you sure? Um, are you sure that you're not just really bad at it? Hey! I see how it is. Well, if you think I'm so bad, then you try it. Um, the fish won't go easy on you just because you're a princess, you know. Okay. Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! These royals are impressive! Dude, she got a fish on her first try! Uh, careful, uh, you'll fall. Okay. Um, whatever you do, don't let go of the rod. Once, uh, the fish is hooked, you need to reel it in. Reel? Yeah, this thing, here. Take your time. Don't panic. Okay, that's it. You're doing well. A little more, a little. Now pull! Yeah! It's, it's huge! I can hear other people say there, um, uh, we're some out here, but, um, I never thought I'd catch a black, uh, sea bream this big. So basically that's also known as the black porgy or blackhead sea bream. One of the most popular and valuable commercial marine fishes in, um, East Asian countries. Right, I'm not going to back down. I'll catch a fish that's bigger than yours, Olivia. Whoa, we found one right away. This one, this is a big one. It's definitely a big one. Huh? Sarah, her lady-in-waiting, yes. Not seeing it. Um, I see. 
And for, uh, if perhaps you are thinking uh, that I am Olivia Sama's second in command, then you are mistaken. I am her lady in waiting, that is to say, her servant. I have no idea what you're talking about. In other words, I guess we can only communicate through our fists after all. Is that so? Before you return to your country, show me what uh, the real Sarasan just this once. Yes! Very well. So, huh? That's a joke. I put a dumbbell in my pocket. Um, I thought you'd like this kind of performance, Avisan. I can't. Dude, she put a dumbbell in her pocket! <gasps> no! You bitch! Um, I do, I, I do. Can I come, can I come in? Huh? Can I? Dinner's ready. <laughs> Sir, you bitch! Whoa, you made all this, Olivia? Um, yes, it's red saltwater fish and pork grilled with the uh, soy sauce, um, uh, uh, seasoned koji. Dude, I'm really hungry. A malt like, basically, that's a malt like, uh, um, substance made from rice or barley used as a starter to make, uh, things like sake and, uh, soy sauce. Uh, wow, that's impressive. I wouldn't expect any less, uh, from you. Uka-chan, do you think you can make, uh, better Japanese food than this? Um, even if I said I did, I'd be lying. And what do you, th and what do you think you're doing? Whatever do you mean? I'm always like this. Do <laughs> uh, you go bald like that, you know? Um, Olivia Sam worked very hard to make um this all for you, Hayata Kun. Please uh, savor it as you eat. Okay, got it. Hmm. Oh, God, I'm hungry. Yeah, it's just ordinary. Excuse me. I'm tired. Yeah, it's just ordinarily delicious food. Using the word um. Oh, word ordinary there is rude, you know. So you're saying you'd like to eat it every day? Huh? Yeah, I guess I am. Woo! I'm glad. Uh huh? What are you doing? Um, Sarasan, tomorrow morning I'll challenge you for the last time. Oh my, whatever will I do? That's a promise, huh? Why'd you say that? Come on, let's have one more showdown. I'll think about it. What? Ami chan, it's time you went to bed, you know. Ami. Why? Just why? Come in. Sorry to disturb. Sorry to disturb you. Um, Sarasan, I was thinking about. Uh, I was thinking it was about time I had a visit from you. What? All right. Let's. Woo. Okay. So chapter one forty four is titled "The Lady in Waiting Is Next in Line." Uh, you've been keeping quiet for a while now, but didn't you have something uh, you wanted to talk to me about? But I just couldn't think of where to start. Ah, that's right. First. I have something that I must apologize to you for. Yeah, we were right about um we were right about the Ojia, weren't we? It really was that mysterious dish of Grandma's, or rather, Sarasan. You already knew what it was all along, didn't you? I know Grandma's personality better than anyone, so I was almost certain that it was uh, the right dish. But it, you said that it wasn't the one, so it got me thinking. What if this person isn't telling the truth? And supposing that was true, I noticed that something didn't quite add up. What? Sarasan, after that time in Spain, you became friends with um, uh, uh, Hoji-san, and um, the two of you often went uh, to Japanese restaurants together, didn't you? And if that's true, then uh, you must have at least had uh, miso soup there. So it only so it would uh, be only natural you'd realize what the mysterious dish was after that. In which case, the fact that you didn't tell Olivia suggests that you had other reasons for coming to Japan. You said before that Her Majesty hasn't been uh, herself for the past year, but isn't that because her country is on the verge of bankruptcy due to that scandal with the state-owned enterprises? Dude, Yano ain't fucking around, he knows. And if um, that's the reason for her troubles, then eating a nostalgic meal isn't really going to help her. Unless Olivia married some rich guy from another country. I see, so you knew that Olivia Sama was to be married. I found a news article about it from a while ago. It seemed that she'll be marrying a prince from a neighboring country and that the ceremony is already being planned for next month. With that, the kingdom of Se um, Semelheim will be saved. Um, Olivia must be well aware of that. It doesn't matter whether she likes the man she's marrying or not. She has no choice but to go ahead with it. So that's why you put a body double in place. You wanted to make sure she had as much fun as possible until the very end of her stay here. Um, in a country as far away as Japan, she could enjoy uh, life as a normal girl, her first and last moment of free time before she marries. You're the one who suggested that she come uh, to Japan, aren't you, Sarasan? Giving her reasons like cooking and meeting her fiancé and such. Is that why you went as far as uh, to close your shop while we were here? Yeah, well, it was all just a theory on my part. But I'm right, aren't I? That's why you, can't, that's why you came to Japan. No, you got it completely wrong. What? <laughs> huh? 
kidding me? I was a little irritated by your smug face, Hayato-san. <laughs> so I just wanted to take you down a peg, um, peg or two one more time. Um, well, that was a little blunt. So what I said just now was uh, true, true then? Yes, partly. Partly. As I told you when we first got here, the reason I brought Olivia-sama here was to have her meet you, uh, her fiancé, Hayato-kun. What? You mean you were serious about that? Yes, Olivia-sama heard about it when, such, um, when she was young while chatting with Her Majesty. She told her that she might uh, have a fiancé in a country called Japan. Since then, Olivia-sama would often ask things like, Hey, Sarah, um, hey, sorry. Hey, Sarah, what kind of person is my fiancé? Well, we don't even know if uh, Chef Kusakabe's grandchild is a boy or yet, um, a boy or not yet, do we? Hey, Sarah, what kind of food do Japanese men like to eat? I don't know. I'll ask a former diplomat. Um, I know next time I see him. If I ever get to meet him, um, I will make the best, uh, best dishes for him. And so she has been thinking about you this whole time. And then one day it happened. Her Majesty said, I want to eat that dish again. So I contacted uh, Huuchi-san, and um, that's when I found out. I found out about you, Hayato-san, uh, Hayato but why would you even tell Olivia that? It had already been decided who she was going to marry, right? Well, yes, but don't you feel sorry for her? She was so um, looking forward to meeting you all this time. So I suggested uh, to her that she come and uh, meet you, her fiancé. I told her that we keep it a secret for the moment and use um, finding an... And use finding out more about uh, Chef um, Kasukabe's dish as our excuse for going. But didn't you end up just spilling that secret all of a sudden? Well, yes, I did intend to keep it a secret. But when we came um, to the cafe and saw five pretty girls already working here, uh, working there, I wanted to help discourage them uh, for uh, Olivia Sama's sake. So I told um, told you all the real purpose of our visit. Um, Hoshi san thought that um, I was just joking, though. Well, of course she would. And yet, she and those girls have, have uh, become like sisters, especially Shirogiku-san. The two of them are so close now. And best of all, Olivia-sama received compliments from you on her cooking, Hayato-san. I'm certain that Olivia-sama will remember these last few days um, that she spent here for the rest of her life as her lady-in-waiting who has served, for, um, served her for many years. I'm deeply grateful to you. I heard everything. Uh-oh. Shirogiku, how long have you been there? And we heard everything from back here. Uh, huh? And I was so far back, I couldn't hear it very, that well. Huh? Nin nin, <laughs> nin nin. Fucking Avi. What are you all doing? Well, we saw you sneaking out of the house with Sarasan, uh, Hayato-kun. So we thought you were going to do something perverted with her. Like hell I would. But after overhearing that story, there's one last thing that I absolutely must do. Huh? As the last apprentice of the three-star chef, um, Sachiko Kusakabe, I want to have one more cooking showdown. Hmm, okay. All right, so now we're at 145. So Sherry Kiku and Olivia are in the kitchen? Yeah, they're preparing for their cooking showdown. But honestly, what is Kiku-chan thinking? I can't believe she'd go as far as to challenge Olivia to a cooking showdown again right before she leaves. Isn't she probably just upset that she lost? Um, I know that feeling. I wonder. I don't think it really matters who wins or loses, though. Only Shirogiku-san um, would know whether it matters or not. Uh, just just make sure you judge them fairly, okay, Hayato? I will. I think it, for Shirogiku, it's more so uh, um, her pride than anything else. Let's see. And this chapter is titled um, Hospitality. There you go. Um, Sarah-san, let's have another battle. You already have gone home by this evening, right? Whatever will I do with you? Come on, come on, it's fine, right? Hurry, hurry. All right, got it. Dude, she whooped Tommy's ass so fast. What are you? Um, there, you lose. You, you're strong. True strength does not need, uh, feel the need to show off, you know. I admit defeat. You'll be my, ma I'll be a master for life. I don't think I could ever, I don't think I could ever win against you. You'll be fine. You could get stronger. Please be diligent with your training. Oh, we got a Dragon Ball reference. Um, whoa, I can feel the power flowing into me. I don't have an ability like that. Boots ready. Here we go. What's going on? Why is Momi here? Um, why is Momi here? Now, uh, now let's get started. Um, this is, uh, the cooking showdown between myself and Grandma Sachiko. Um, what? Grandma? A cooking battle with Grandma? Under a direction from Shirogiku-san, I, Momi Soya, um, have prepared Grandma's dish. Thank you. What on earth? Can someone explain all this more thoroughly? Uh, 
Um, the mystery dish that Your Majesty wished to eat was ojia, but even if someone uh, served her the same dish again, it wouldn't uh, conjure up the same feelings as when she ate it for the first time. So, so I took that dish and refined it to make it even more delicious. In other words, the ultimate, the superior, ojia. Just pick one. Are you ready yet? It'll get cold. Um. Oh, go ahead. So that's it. You had Momi make the um the dish as uh the heir to a famous family uh run Japanese restaurant. Yes, I'm still an amateur when it comes to Japanese cuisine. I asked her to help me out so that I could learn from her. So you're going to do whatever it takes to surpass Grandma. I must say I approve of your determination. Right then, um, I'll be sure to judge as well as I can. So please try it, Sarah. Uh, are you sure? Uh, so lame. Sorry, Hayatakan. I want Sarah-san to try the uh this dish. How embarrassing. I must say I approve of your determination. Come on, Uka-chan, give it a rest. A rest now. Um, understood. I will gladly judge this dish. Oh my god, that looks so good. I'm so hungry. Oh, um, it's a little more green than the one I tried the other day. Please, just try it first. All right. Hmm, my, what a refreshing fragrance. It has a spicy, citrusy flavor, and the firmness of the rice is not as irregular as the other day. We sorted the rice grains one by one so that they match the true spirit of hospitality. Um, I swear I've seen, <laughs> I swear I've seen that in a manga. So what give, um, gives it that fragrance? It's Sancho, um, or like a species of uh, Sichuan pepper, also called Japanese uh, pepper or Japanese prickly ash. It's Sancho. I chopped up this, um, the shoots and uh, simmered them together with grandma's miso. I call it Sancho uh, shoot uh, miso ojia. Uh, Sancho's uh, not just um, fragrant either. The shoots are also supposed to help stimulate the uh, um, appetite and aid digestion. I thought it'd be perfect for Her Majesty who's experiencing a lack of energy. Do you even consider Her Majesty's health conditions? It was something that Olivia-san taught me. She told me that even when you cook, you should consider the feelings of the person who will be eating what you make. I taught Olivia-san how to make dash, um, dashi and boil rice the way we do at my family's restaurant. We made sure to use um, ingredients that you'd be able to find overseas. So even once you return home, you should still be able to make this dish as long as you follow the instructions. How is it, Sarah? Do, how does it taste compared to that nameless dish you tasted before? Mm, yes, well, I think that this new dish tastes better than the dish I tried back then. Yay, we did it! And no weird punchlines either. What exactly were you expecting? But what about the miso? We're almost out of the one Grandma made, aren't we? Um, yes, so I've decided to have a little, um, uh, have them take a little of Grandma's miso home with them. Um, if you use it as a starter, you should be able to make some more. Um, whenever you make, um, whenever you make Sancho, uh, shoot miso, miso ojia, remember the time we spent together, okay? I will, thanks. Aww. But the name's a bit of a mouthful. Is it, is it alright if I change it? Yes, that's fine. Then I'll call this dish... Shirigiku, ah, uh, oh, and the memory of a refreshing summer day. That's a mouthful too. Aww. All right, now we're at one forty-six, which is titled "Overlapping Images." Well, then we should be uh, getting on our way. Thank you for hosting us on our trip. Um, I'm sure that Olivia Sama will always remember these days she spent with you all. It's a shame you have to leave so soon. We only just got to know each other. Take care, um, on your journey. If I make any more clothes, I'll send them your way. Bye, Olivia. Do your best back home, okay? Hmm? Aww. Hey. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm fucking on with the mask. The gorilla mask. Um, this is a farewell gesture in the kingdom of um, Samahin. We embrace people who have been extremely kind or helpful to us. That's funny. I don't remember being the recipient of such a gesture from you. Well, I did say we use it for people who have been extremely kind or helpful, after all. <laughs> My, what a sharp tongue you have. You really are exactly the kind of person I imagine as my fiancé, Hayato. Your personality and your demeanor, even um, down to how you look. Is that so? Well, then I'm glad. That Haiichi, he stole it all right up. Hayato has, uh, hasn't stolen anything. Uh, oh, but he has. That guy's stolen every important thing to you. Ami, Ami Chan, take that mask off. You certain, you're certainly being very rude. Olivia-san, um, here, it's Grandma's homemade miso. I put it in a cool bag for the moment, but once you get home, please freeze it until you're ready to use it, okay? Um, thank you, I'll take good care of it. Shirikiku, even though you're my closest friend, you're also a wonderful rival, so I'll let you have Hayato, okay? No, nah, bitch! No, nah, she's not having Hayato! Nah! Uh, thank you? <laughs> my, my, what are you talking about over here? And what exactly are you saying thank you for? Uh, what are you all doing?
point. That's not what we're here for. Sure, Giku, come on. Say something back to them. Um, stop it, Dad. You're embarrassing me. Okay, let's go, Sarah. Uh, yes. Well, well then, we'll, um, take our leave now. Okay, see ya. Um, we'll come and see you next, uh, we'll come and see you next time. Are you sure you're okay with this, Olivia-sama? What? If by any chance you were to say that you wish to leave it, leave it all behind and remain in this country, I would gladly accompany you. Sarah, I have an important duty to fulfill. I cannot just abandon my, pe um, my people for my own selfish reasons. Olivia-sama, my sincerest apologies, as long as you understand. What about you, Sarah? Are you sure you're okay with leaving without saying goodbye properly? What? To who? For some reason, she reminded me of Laura, that girl. Sarah-san! Wait a minute! You forgot something! Ami-san, did I leave something behind? Yes! Your farewell greeting for being extremely kind and helpful to me. Thanks for playing with me so much. I don't have a mom, but you kind of felt like a mom to me, Sarah-san. Whoa! Hey, Mom, are you still working? Please wait just a little longer, Laura. I'll be there soon. Oh, it's her daughter! There soon. That's enough, isn't it? Come and play. Come on, hurry. All right, I'm coming. What a coincidence. Oh! I also thought that you were like a real daughter to me. Aw. Now you should head back. Everyone's waiting for you, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Um, bye, Sarasan. I'll get stronger and come and challenge you again, okay? Yes, I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, what are you doing, Ami? We're leaving. Oh, coming. Okay, see ya. Let's come back someday to thank them for everything. Yes, we owe them far more than we could ever um, hope to repay. Oh, that was so sweet. I wonder if Olivia's son is really okay with all of this. I don't know much about royal families, but it seems pretty rough, huh? I'd hate the idea of marrying somebody I never met, right? She made the decision herself, though, and all that we could do is support her. Um, <laughs> uh, I brought it along, especially. This has nothing to do with me, but Uka-san admits more funny that way. But you actually came um, out with something pretty insightful there, Ami. No, she didn't. You still had that thing, huh? Uh, something about this dumb expression of hers just grows on you, don't you think? What, what did you just say? I fucking love this manga. It's so stupid. And now we're at 147, which is titled Olivia's Prince. Okay, here we go. Hey, you there. Do you have time to laze around right now? It's the last day of the holidays. Shouldn't you be visiting your families? What? Don't you? Don't say things you don't mean. If we weren't here, you'd get all lonely and end up crying by yourself again, wouldn't you? We're staying because we feel sorry for you. Hey, woo! Like hell, I cry. He's just checking up on us because he's worried we're all going to go back home, isn't he? I would, um, I would not. It's kind of cute, though. Shut up! Oh, that's right. I heard about this from my mother, but apparently old man Fua was trying to set up a marriage between that grandson of his and Olivia. Uh, she said that he was pretty forceful about it, too, using his connections from when he was an ambassador. What? That's crazy! Why would Olivia try to have to marry a jerk like that? Seems like Her Majesty wasn't thrilled either. Soon as Fu, soon as uh, Fua found out um, that the kingdom of uh, Samohim was about to go bankrupt, he abruptly turned around and said, uh, "Let's forget that co this conversation ever happened." But he was the one who started it. Um, that fam, um, wait, that family uh, are the absolute worst. But that old, but that old guy is uh, the type of person who will do that if you're not careful. That's true. I could see why Grandma was scared of him. Well, things turn out okay in the end, at least. Now Olivia-chan um, won't have to marry someone like him. Well, that's all well and good, but in the end, it's still a political marriage, isn't it? I hope the prince she's marrying is a good person, at least. Uh, to agree to marry the prin uh, princess of a kingdom on the verge of bankruptcy, he must be right. I hope so. Um, what's all- Oh, God, Ami! Oh, what are you doing, woman? What's all this about? The din um, the diner is busy today. Um, busy? Don't be so impatient, young one. We're the same- we're the same age as you! Hey, listen up. The true strain doesn't feel the need to show off, you know. I don't want to hear that from someone who goes around beating up every bad guy in town. Well, whatever. I'll give you this for today, huh? Out! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Whoa, hang in there. This way your um, hidden power will... Uh, oh, God damn, this fucking army, you dumbass. Mm, looks good. Huh? What are you doing here, Shirogiku? The cafe's closed today. Payano-kun, I was trying to come up with some new menu items. I thought perhaps I should try something a little different. Um, this is a wasabi and, um, sancho cheesecake. 
That sounds disgusting! Since you're here, would you like to try some? Wasabi and Sancho? Oh, I'm okay. I'm not great with spicy food. That's okay. Once you bake it, uh, bake it, the spiciness goes away. Liar! Oh, but wait a little until it's cooled down, okay? Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm, it's missing something. Huh? I guess it won't be easy after all. What's this about all of a sudden anyway? Did meeting Olivia uh, inspire you? Well, kind of. If I want to surpass my father, I mustn't allow myself to be so easily satisfied. Olivia-san told me that when she helped me reinvent my Pincho's recipe. Oh, I see. That thing she did with the olive oil powder, right? Um, yeah, she said that, um, she, uh, just happened to think of it, but I think she really is very skilled. And then there are, are um, uh, more, even more people like that out in the world, aren't there? So you see, I feel like I need to do my best too. I'm gonna work harder and harder and become, um, an amazing chef. Um, yeah, you could do it. You could definitely become an even better, uh, chef than your father. Thanks. And when that happens, um, and when that happens, we can make something together, Hayato-kun. Uh, but I'm terrible at cooking. I didn't mean that. I, I meant a child. What? Or shall we do Spanish food for the wedding ceremony? I think Dad would be willing to help out. Hold on, I think you're getting ahead of yourself there on multiple fronts. Aw. See, Hayato's like, woman, back off. No. Nah. Um, they're talking about Olivia Chan in the online news. Wait, sorry, hey, they're talking about Olivia Chan in the online news. Huh, the news? What are they saying? That the prince she's marrying wanted to meet her as soon as possible. So he went, even went to Olivia Chan's vacation home to pick her up as soon as she finished spending time here. Wow, he must really like Olivia, huh? Apparently, once he saw uh, her photo, it was love at first sight. Hey, hey, do they have a photo of the prince on there? Oh, there's a photo of them together. Let's see. Zoom in, Uka. Huh? No way. This guy looks just like Hayao And Olivia Chan has the biggest smile on her face. Does he really look that much like me? He does. Are you sure you don't have a twin? Well, uh, well, she se uh, seems ha so uh, happy, so I'm glad. Oh, I want a handsome Ayato come like that, too, right? Well, I'm sorry that you're stuck with this uh, scruffy old me. Huh, wait. Princess Olivia, age 25, of the kingdom of Samohim, snuggling up with the prince. She's 25? She's older than all of us. Um... And, oh no, Ami um, has written the characters uh, for Ray's name as if they are her dying words. Oh no. Alright, now we're at chapter 148, which is titled The Manager's Unseen Side. Raya-chan, uh, Raya-chan, yes? Um, today's your birthday, right? I was thinking of making some, um, some special food to celebrate. Is there anything that you'd like? Uh, sorry, Kika-chan. Actually, since it's my birthday, birthday today, I'm going out um, to dinner with my family. Oh, I see. That's great. Wow, it seems like you guys are getting along well. Um, well, Dad was pretty excited about it, so he insisted. I figured I may, um, may as well go along with it all. I see. Well, having a, a nice, relaxing evening with your family, then. Sorry about this. You look happy, Ryo-chan. Not especially. Oh, we're not having a party tonight, but it's Ryo-san's birthday, you know. Um, there wouldn't be much point um, in uh, having a fancy dinner with uh, the main character missing now, would there? Uh, be quiet and eat up. We could sit a, um, out of play for her in the hope that uh, she'll uh, come home. Don't be ridiculous. I wonder if Ryo-san's enjoying her evening with her family right about now. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe, although she said that she'd be coming straight home afterwards, she should just relax and enjoy it. Uh, Ryo? Well, what is it? Have you already finished having dinner? We're all done, but I drink a little too much. I'm kind of shaky and can't walk so well, so uh, can you come and um, meet me at the station, Hayato-kan? Ryo! I reeled you right in, didn't I? I'm not actually drunk at all. Is that so? Oh, the others wanted me to pass on some messages, huh? Well, uh, we'll let you at least spend your birthday alone with Hayato-kun. You didn't, you didn't have to pretend you were drunk. Well, sh um, well show us uh, what you've got. Buy some snacks on, the, on your way back, okay? So that's that. Hey, am I really that predictable? Well, whatever. I'd already factored that in anyway. But there's one thing you guys are forgetting. Well, it seems like the others are allowing it, so hang out with me a little. What, we're not going home? Come on, it's my birthday. Um, sure, as long as we're not out too late, so where do you want to go? Well, last month Hayato kind of turned 20. Uh, and, and um, is it Kaya? That's right, since you're 20 years old now, Hayato kind, you can at least celebrate with me, right? That's all well and good, but why have you ordered me three different drinks? So that you can have fun trying out different foods that go well with alcohol. Now that you're, um, of legal 
legal drinking age and all, but I already ate dinner, so I'm full. Surely you can eat at least one piece of uh, sashimi. It's my birthday, you know. Fine, happy birthday. Thank you, um, thank you. Now while you're eating, try some red wine. Take a gulp. Ugh, tastes all fishy. That was an example of a bad combination. Now rinse your mouth out with the chaser and then try it with some sake. Grandma always said only heavy drinkers use beer as a chaser. Yeah, don't use beer as a chaser. That, that is not good. Unless, oh no. I'm thinking of an Irish car bomb. Not, no. Don't worry about that. Just eat up. The flatter here is really good too. All right, all right. Okay, now drink some sake. Oh, um, it's really good. Red wine contains iron, so when you drink it while eating fish, it makes it, it taste more fishy. Whereas the amino acids pre um, present in sake um, serve uh, to bring out the tastier flavors of, uh, of the fish. There are exceptions to that rule, though. Oh, that's amazing. There's a proper scientific explanation for it. Hearing that makes me want to try all sorts of combinations. Oh, incidentally, red wine goes best with meat and cheese. Here, try it with this, uh, um, uh, camera, wait. Camembert, oh, there we go. Whoa, you're right, the cheese somehow tastes better. <laughs> Got you. I'll activate his thirst for knowledge as a former Tokyo youth student and get him wasted by having him try a mix of different types of alcohol. Oh, this do that does pair well. Then when he's good and drunk, I'll take him back to the hotel I reserved in advance. It's the perfect tactic. Hey, Raiho, what goes best with wi uh, whiskey? Oh no, don't do that. My, my, you're really on a quest for uh, flavor, aren't you, Hayata-kun? Um, whiskey works uh, best with nuts or dried fruit. Wow, really? Excuse me, can I get a whiskey on the rocks and uh, some mixed nuts? Of course, please wait a moment. That's why I keep drinking and uh, drink more and more alcohol and let me see it. Your true perverted nature that only comes out when you're drugged. By the way, how was dinner with your family today, huh? Uh, what do you mean? Did you have fun? Well, yeah, I guess. Mom seemed happy to be able to drink sake for the first time in a while. And Dad and Grandma um, were smiling the whole time, so yeah, it was fun. I see. That's great. Today is a good day. Oh, that's right. I like this side of Hayato Ken, don't I? Mm -hmm. Hey, shall we stay at a hotel tonight? Um, I already made a reservation. Yeah, you're right. Huh? I am? But first, there's something that I need to talk to you about. What? What is it? No matter how you look at it, this is strange. Never thought they'd stay out this late. Hope they haven't gotten into an accident. Um, you got anything on me? It's no use. They've completely concealed their presence. <laughs> Can't take any more. Ryo-san, what's wrong? Um, uh, what's wrong? Why are you in Musakaya? Oh, um, uh, help me, you guys. I was planning to get Hayata Kun drunk and dig into a hotel I'd reserved, but he, hmm, these pair well. Hey, Hayata Kun, how long have you been drink here drinking? It's time to go home. Uta, yeah, you're right. First, there's something that I need to ask you about. Huh? What is it? Did you know, um, did you know the word Izakaya comes from the, oh, God. Oh, God, I know, oh, I know how this feels. Um, uh, actually comes from the Edo period. Liquor stores, um, let their customers drink alcohol in front of the store itself. Staying at a liquor store and drinking alcohol, that's, uh, what the word izakaya, um, uh, was for, or is used for. Uh-huh. Incidentally, it's said that, um, uh, drinking establishments selling alcohol from various different com uh, alcohol uh, companies for people uh, to drink on site were first established as early as the uh, uh, Muromachi period. That guy, when he's drunk, he becomes a super annoying, a super annoying asshole. He gives you a lecture about whatever random crap is in front of him. I know that. I know how this is. I know because um because Brian used to do this to me all the freaking time. He did not need alcohol for this. No, he did not. Like. He would, I would be, it would feel like I was in a college class of times, because he would lecture, he would lecture me about, like, renewable energy, or, like, stocks, or politics, for, like, three hours. Oh, my God, he would. Can't take it anymore. He spent two hours going on about the, um, Kershio current and the effects on, uh, the nutrient levels in blueback fish. You've had a tough time, huh? Let's go home and, uh, have our own drinking party, Ryo-chan. Uh, Ryo yeah, let's talk about fun stuff. I'll join you. Mommy Chan, go and pay the hotel bill and uh, throw Hayato Kun in a room there. You can buy some snacks on the way back. Okay, the next day, that's an unfamiliar ceiling. <laughs> Alright, so now we're at 149, which is titled, Is This a Date? Whoa, there are a bunch of stalls. Um, there's, there's a fun kind of atmosphere in the air, isn't there? I feel kind of excited. Um, but is it really okay for us to close the diner on the day of the fireworks show? Familia are still opening the beach hut today, right? 
Um, it's fine. We've helped out at the cafe plenty of times after all. She's right. They, um, the least they could do is uh, let us come and uh, see the fireworks, don't you think? Besides, why are you wearing a bra under this, uh, Hikiru? Um, hey, it's standard practice to not wear underwear underneath a um, yukata, you know. Some Japanese person you are. The only person who'd believe a lie like that is Tina. Huh? You got me. Uh, you got me. That girl never wears white anyway. <laughs> oh, no! I just made that up. I completely took her word for it. What's wrong, ray Why are you squirming around like that? No, it's nothing. Oh, uh, I forgot something, so I'm just going to go uh, go and get it. What? Okay, we'll go on ahead then. I'm sorry. Oh, ow. Oh, my nail broke. That sucks. Ray, um, what are you doing in the middle of the road? Are you feeling unwell? Oh, um, Hayachi, it's nothing major. I just broke my toenail, that's all. Oh, is it okay? Um, I have bandages if you need one. Um, don't worry, it's fine. No, I'll put it on for you, so just let me see. Do oh! Kicked him, huh? Uh, sorry. Mosquito, there's a big mosquito on you. Really? Uh, sorry, but you need to tell people things like that before you hit them. Sorry. Um, now everyone's come to see the fireworks, huh? I figured I'd come out and get supplies before more people got here. Um, oh, I see. In that case, I'll accompany you to the supermarket. There's still some time before the fireworks start. What should I do? I ended up coming with him, um, without having any underwear on. But I hardly ever get to be alone with Haichi. Well, I guess if I'm going, just going shopping with him, it should be fine. Oh, look, Ray, they have a shooting gallery. Let's try it. Huh? Okay, then you do it, Haichi. I'll cheer you on. You sure? Um, alright, then I'll show you my skills. I'll play one round, mister. Oh, boss, slacking off, uh, work to go on a date, huh? Well, something like that. He was just kidding, but I ain't you not just as a date. Could it be that our relationship is progressing? Um, just watch me, Ray. I'll get that box of caramels for you. Um, you could do it, Hi You could do it, Haichi. Wow, you got it. All right. Oh no, the gunman is her shirt. Uh, huh? What? What? Uh, what? What do you mean? Um, uh, no, I was just trying to do a comedy skit. I, I wasn't trying to do a comedy skit or anything. And even if it's supposed to be part of your joke, quit hitting me around. Oh, man, the back of the head. Um, when I imagined the two of us together at the fireworks display, I thought there would be a much better atmosphere between us than this. What's wrong? Dude, you put the gun in her freaking in, in her yukata. Like, I don't blame her for slapping you. What's wrong, Ray? You seem a little out of sorts today. Not at all. I'm having fun. Really? She's probably in a lot of pain. Um, especially if she's not wearing a bra. Oh my god, I would suck. Oh, they have chocolate-covered bananas. Um, I'm sorry. Not, not at all. I'm having fun. Really? Um, oh, they have chocolate-covered bananas. Want one? Huh? Um, I'm fine. I have a bad feeling about it somehow. Huh? Nothing. Come to think of it, I know it's a little late, but that yukata really suits you. You look good in this kind of thing, uh, too, you know. Ah, uh, um, thank you. Uh, you know confessions, uh, they, you know confessions, they aren't some kind of all or nothing strike, um, uh, strike the, wait. Or nothing strike that you recklessly fire at someone you don't even know that well. They're like a, con a confirmation ceremony in which two people who already love each other um, officially become lovers. It's not going to happen, woman. You may as well try a little harder, right? When you confess to someone, they tend to notice you more afterwards, you know. This is very true. What is it? Um, which one? Which one is uh, how Haichi feels right now? Oh. Ah, oh, darn, they've already started. I better hurry back. Huh? Wait, I have something to tell you. Um, something to tell me? Yeah, I, um, I... Ooh, I've been chosen to compete in karate. Huh? Wow, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you, but what I meant to say was, uh, come on, hurry up and tell them how you feel. Ah, oh, there you are. What are you doing, Ray Sean? My, my, were you trying to get ahead of us? It's getting late, so we came to find you. Um, time's up, huh? I ended up chickening, um, chickening out right at the last second. Oh, uh, you're all here, even though this might have been my last chance. No, I won't give up. Next time I'll be more direct and Haichi's heart will... <gasps> no! She flashed him! She flashed him the goods! No! Uh, what do you want? What, what are you doing? I didn't mean to mess on said, Hey, Rachel, that's a little too direct. What's, what's on this? You're full of determination, aren't you?
get to chapter 150 here. Welcome! Um, you're full of energy again today, aren't you, Mommy Chung? Uh, if you have energy, you can do anything! Stop sticking out your chin like that! Um, come to think of it, how are you doing with the, uh, your karate, Yami? Uh, did you say da? What, what the fuck? No, that's not what I said! Ray, who attends the same university as you, said uh, she got selected as a com uh, competitor for karate. Did uh, they ask you not to compete? Uh, nope. Ami said she turned them down because she didn't want to do the extra training. What? Uh, why do you have to tell him? What are you thinking? That, that was an important opportunity. It's fine. I'm protecting the peace in this city, after all. No, I'm telling you it's not fine at all, but it is. Aw. All right, Ami, uh, so for chapter 150, it's titled Even I. Ha! Yeah! Now we get into training. Oh, no, you don't. Can you move around so much after a shift at the cafe? Just how much stamina do you have? Well, I can't very well protect the peace if I'm not strong enough. Yeah. Why did you refuse to compete? A tour abroad fighting against strong opponents from different countries would be a great experience for you. Sakyan, is it just arrogance thinking that um, there wouldn't be anyone stronger than you, even overseas? Uh, did I look like a fool to, uh, to you for being happy to be chosen? It's just too much um, hassle for me, that's all. Well, I do think that you're acting a little smug, Raychon. Smug? Smug? Oh, you just wait until our next practice match, Missy. But you know, Raychon, I'm not arrogant enough to think that there isn't anyone stronger than me um, overseas. Oh, really? The other day we had a lady uh, called Sarasan staying at our place. She was scary strong. Stronger than you? <laughs> even I was no match for her. As soon as I grabbed Sarasan's arm, I was looking up at the ceiling without even realizing that I had been thrown. Um... And even when I tried to get, uh, rush to get up, she had me in a chokehold. If that had been a real battle, I'd be dead. What kind of person is she, this Sarasan? Um, Olivia's son, second in command. In other words, her younger sister. And, um, what? Who's Olivia's son? She's the princess of, um, a muscle something kingdom. The two of them came all the way to Japan to meet Hayachi. Princess? Why would someone like that come here? They, um, they came here so that they could learn how to make the cat food that Hayachi's grandmother used to. Ami! Huh? First they didn't know what uh, kind of dish they were looking for, but Haichi realized that it was cat food, though they said that wasn't it. But it turned out that he was right about it being cat food in the end. After Shirogiku made some improvements, it didn't look like cat food anymore. What? What earth are you going on about? Is this some dr uh, dream you had yesterday? Anyway, Sarasan is super strong, Raychan. Um, I don't understand what you just told me at all. Uh, I can't work anymore. I'm so tired. Why do I have to work at that cafe right after finishing up um, at the beach hut? I can't keep asking Marika and the others to help us out all the time. They're busy too. That's true. But did we um, even need to oper uh, open the beach hut this year? Aren't you making money with your stocks? I said, didn't I? Um, I said, didn't I? I used, I used it all up buying Chiyota Diner and the uh, land it's on. Oh, you should have at least saved some of it. Just stop your grumbling and get back to it. Oh, look, a customer. Service with a smile, remember? Shut up, I know that. Shut up, I know that. Welcome, uh, where would you like to, huh? Wait, you're... Then why did you refuse to compete? A tour abroad fighting against, uh, strong opponents from different countries would be a great experience for you. Strong opponents, huh? Hmm? Ami Chan, what are you doing out here? Did you, um, make Hayata come mad with your pranks again? <laughs> Mr. Ma'am, even I worry about stuff sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes, you know. Are you okay? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? Come on, I'll give you some of our takoyaki, so cheer up. Dude, that's awesome! Deli uh, delicious. So when I worry, you get takoyaki, huh? Guess I'll make sure to worry once in a while, then. Ami, I was looking for you, so you were out here, were you? Oh, Haichi. Um, oh, what are you doing eating before dinner? Sure, Giku will get mad at you, you know. I didn't mean to. The guy from the fish shop gave it to me. Do you want some, Haichi? No, I'm good. Besides, someone's, um, come to see you. Uh, hurry up and come back. You come to see me? Um, yeah, they've been waiting for you. Huh? You're in Nichon? Um, you finally came. Where were you on, Ami-chan? Well, what about you, Yuri Nichon? What are you doing here? Well, just come and sit down. I have some business in the area, so, um, uh, since I'd be staying in a hotel for a while, I thought I'd, uh, come and say hello. But Hayatakan said I should stay here rather than, um, wasting my money on a hotel. Huh, so you'll be staying here for now? Well, we have a spare room after all, plus I thought it'd make you happy. It does! Yay! Hey, stop that! Well, that's right, Ami-chan. 
What's all this I heard about you turning down the opportunity to compete at karate? If someone like you got into that university for the karate skills, that doesn't look good, you know. Uh, hey, Chi, I can't believe you snitched on me. Sorry. Just come and sit uh, sit down on me, Chong. You got all wrong, you, uh, you're in each other protecting the peace of this town. I said sit down or I'll bear you. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. No! Okay, now we're on. On uh, today's chapter, um, which is titled Ally of Justice. I love this art! Yes! This cover! This cover is everything. And yes, we could cop a feel. Copping a feel, especially of Ami's chest, always makes everything better. Oh no, oh no, I overslept. I need to hurry up and make breakfast. Oh, morning, I borrowed your apron. And Yuri Sam, where are you? Um, uh, well, you're having me stay for a while after all. I figured that I could at least help out with the chores. Thank you, that's a great help. So, why are you helping out too, Ami-chan? She told me to choose between helping out or death. Uh, I said nothing of the sort. Liar. Dang, Nichan is looking hot. A proposal? Yeah, I'm in a long-distance relationship with someone living here. So I was thinking of proposing to them. You're going to be the one to propose? Oh my, why, why, why? Please tell us everything. Um, quit flapping about and sit down and eat. When Abitron's grandmother was looking after me, he was there too. Well, we just kind of ended up deciding to date and now we've been together for about 12 years. Um, when you say Ami's grandmother was looking after you, do you mean um, a family home? Excuse me. Um, that's right. She took in children with all sorts of problems, but still, 12 years is a long time. Um, right, right? But after he graduated from university, he came here to look for a job. So we've been, um, uh, long distance for eight years. Eight years? I only get to see him, uh, for a little while when he comes home for Oban and New Year's. Um, he's the kind of person who's always busy. To be honest, I'm not really sure whether he still feels the same way about me. It's not like he said, um, he wants to break up or anything, but I'll be turning to... Fuck my life. I'll be turning 28 this year. I turn, I think it's about time um, we figure out where we want to go from here. Uh, uh, there really are guys like that, huh? Guys who put off uh, clearing a, um, giving a clear answer like that. I'm not going to wait that long. Fuck my life. Ugh. Isn't he just taking advantage of the fact that you like him? Um, it's enough to piss, ev uh, piss anyone off. Uh, poor Hayato. He's like, oh, fuck. Yuri san, I'll cheer you on. Me too. Yeah, if there's anything we could do, um, ever do to help uh, you out, please let us know. Ah, oh, really? You're all so kind. Well, it's a feeling we could all relate to, after all. So, what are you doing here, leisurely drinking coffee, huh? Oh, well, I'm here. I thought I'd come to see, uh, come and see what Ami uh, Chan's like when she's working. I'm holding the fort here on my own, so she'll be over at the beach hut um, until 5 p.m. Oh, I see. That's a shame. Besides, weren't you going to go um, and propose? You came all this way to do that, right? Oh, he's bu always busy on weekdays. He promised to meet me on Sunday. Well, I needed time to prepare myself. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of... Oh, sorry, I fucked this up. Promised to meet me on Sunday. What? But that's three days away, isn't it? Didn't you get here way too early? Well, I needed time to prepare myself. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing, after all. Th that is not going to happen, by the way, for me. I need some mans to propose. I, I believe in chivalry. Chivalry to me is not dead. That's why um, doing the online dating stuff for me is really, really hard. Because I want to be chased. I don't like doing the chasing after. It's driving me fucking up the wall. The thing that sucks about this as well is that I have, like, and I hate apps for this. For this very reason. People that I say that are not my preference are still hitting the like button for me. I, I keep attracting weirdos. I don't know why I keep attracting weirdos that are not my type at all, but I do. I, no, nah, I, I'm, I'm extremely, I'm gonna say it straight up, and all women are like this, and if you say otherwise, you are full of shit. I am proud of being shallow. I am a shallow motherfucker. When it comes to people I wanna be with for the, like the rest of my life, I am a shallow-ass motherfucker. I, especially if I'm going to be, like, you know, looking at the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, I'm going to be with a good-looking person. <laughs> I'm 
maybe, maybe it's, maybe, maybe I'm not just, maybe I'm not a good looking person. I don't know anymore. I'm starting to question this. That is not a good thing. Um, first I had to come to the place where he is and breathe the same air as him. If I don't gradually get my uh, body used to this place, it could be dangerous. Dangerous, you say? But still, I was pretty surprised. By what? Well, you're really angry, uh, really scared when you're angry, Yuri-san. I figured you'd be like that with your boyfriend, too, trying to pressure him into marrying you. Oh, but, um, I'm only like that with Amichan, you know. Besides, I've never actually been violent with her, not once. Really? I thought you ruled over her with an iron fist or something. I mean, never. That Amichan's always embellishing her stories. She doesn't have a father, so I thought I'd be that kind of fi uh, figure for her. I was so strict with her when we were kids. I wonder if it uh, traumatized her in some way. But as she got older, she was actually the one helping me all the time, you know. Whenever someone tried to chat me up or um, I got picked on by scary people, she always came to my aid. Oh, wow, so that's how it was. Oh, God, not this, these motherfuckers. See, I told you, Achan, the manager's the only one working here today. It would appear so. Damn, I was careless. I should have had at least one bodyguard here with me. Oh? Um, there's a cute girl here. Hey, hey, how about you come and play with us? We'll go somewhere nice. Amichan, something terrible's happened. What's wrong, Akira-san? Um, slacking, um, slacking off again? Don't, don't you care if they get mad at you? Um, oh, Shukan, you're here? Uh, Oh, Shukan, you're here. Either one of you is fine, so just come over to Familia with me. Shukan? Um, when I looked in the ca uh, at the cafe now, Fuasan's uh, grandson and those friends of his were there again. And they were trying um, really hard to hit on a woman who was there as a customer. Tina-chan and Ray-chan are out buying supplies, so they're not here. But I don't know who um, what those guys will do to Hayano-kan. I guess... Yeah! Shukan! I guess I'll have to come along. I can't believe those guys are still doing all that. Hey, the woman at that cafe, is it Yuri Nichon? Um, I don't know, but she was wearing a white sleeveless dress and had long hair. They grabbed her at the arm and looked like they were uh, going to take her away. Those jerks. Uh, wait, Nissan, I'm coming too. Is this Yuri Nichon, your uh, big sister, Nissan? If so, she's, uh, surely she's crazy strong too, so we don't need to worry, right? That's the pro not the problem, you fool. If I don't help her, Yuri Nichon's going to end up killing someone. Hey, don't fall asleep, fatty. Uh, the real thing is too graphic, so this is the reputation. Uh, this is the rep uh, representation. I thought you wa wanted to play. Where do you want to go, huh, heaven? Stop, stop, please. If you keep out of any longer, he's going to die. Please forgive us. We're sorry. Huh? The, re the reason this all happened in the first place was because you didn't go on like I told you to when I tried to be nice, wasn't it? Manager, help us out. You know her, right? Uh, there's no way I could help with this. Yuri Nichon. Stop, Yuri Nichon. Don't turn into a monster. Shut up. I'll kill you. This is ketchup, by the way. Um, You guys, hurry. Grab mustache face over there and run. I can't hold her much longer. Right. Thank you. Dude, Yuri, whoop that motherfucker's ass. I need she sing a lullaby. Stop there, you cowards. Um, Come on, hurry. Sing a lullaby. She's scary. I love the look on my guy's face. He's like, oh my god. I'm like, why me? I totally get it. It's nerve wracking to conf uh, confessing to someone, especially when it's a proposal. We're all cheering for you. You should have more confidence in yourself, Eri san. Thank you. I'm shy and can't always say what I want to say, but I'll try to be more confident and do my best. It'll all be okay. I hope it goes well. There's no way it will, surely. <laughs> dude! Ayana's like, dude, I feel bad for this guy. But man, Ami's got a husbando. Let's be real. Shusan is like, I know Mofos are gonna be like, well, what about Hayato and Ami? No, 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 no. Ami's got her mans, and that's Shu. He wants, he wants Ami. Let, let her have like, Shu is more Ami speed. Yeah. But damn, Eerie. Damn, Eerie's a scary motherfucker. Eerie's a scary ass motherfucker. Oh my god. Eerie's a scary bitch. She's a, she's a Kaiju Nissan. That's a Kaiju sister. Oh my god. She is scary. But I want to know do you want to play with sis? I, I, I know. I know there are many people that would want to play with sis. Because some people like it 
guys think of the comment section below what you guys thought of these chapters. I really like the Olivia content. The Olivia content was great. Um, and I like how things turned out with Sarah. I, I really do like the mother-daughter relationship that Sarah has uh, with, uh, with Ami. And I like how it transitioned into this content with Eerie as well. Because Eerie's like the father figure now. Damn. Damn. Damn, woman, Eerie, she's a monster sister. She's a monster, Nissan. Oh, my God. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys uh, thought of, this cha of these chapters. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Goddess Cafe Terrace content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.